And do you think that going into Iran after 9-11 to get Saddam Hussein was a good choice? I think it was the only choice. What are your thoughts and feelings about the Iran nuclear deal? I think Trump came out the other day and said that uh, he wants it needs to be reviewed maybe because he doesn't feel like it's necessarily a good deal for the U.S. I don't want it to disappear, and I don't think that we can forge a new one. It takes a long time. It's very um, long outdrawn, and we have a lot of co countries that are um, with us, so I want to keep it. I agree with the president 100%. The nuclear, which nuclear deal? The Iran nuclear deal. The one with Obama? It seems like we're forced into a situation where we have to pay them not to make weapons. We're paying them not to make weapons. In so many words, yeah. How do you feel about the Iran nuclear deal? I don't know much about it. Actually, I have no idea about it. Mm, if it'll help us, then we should keep it. If Obama and his team said it was a good deal, then I trust them more than I trust a guy who's in the energy business. Actually, I'm from Russia. I was born there, so I don't know like nothing about Iran. Oh, yeah, so people in Russia don't know about Iran. Okay. And I can't believe that all of our allies went along with it other than to kick it to the United States. Should anyone in the Middle East be allowed to have nuclear weapons? Well, I think that, you know, personally, I don't think it's a good idea to pl for nuclear proliferation. If they need them, then they should be able to have them. But they also yell death to America also. So I'm afraid that once they have them, death to America might be what we get. Well, Iran's never been a fan of the U.S. government. So why do you think that is? Well, they said things like death to America. And I, I would rather see uh, the president, who is the art of the deal, negotiate it. Yes, he's a true artist. I think the Iranians are quite Western. The young people there, I think I think they actually kind of like America. So, you know, I would agree with you. Do you know uh, do you know how it could possibly help us? No, not really. <laughs> okay. Do you think you'd be able to pick Iran out off of a map? Let's try. Fearless. Hmm. I'm say that is Saudi Arabia. That's actually Saudi Arabia. That's Saudi Arabia. That one? No, but you're close. Oh, he got it. Good oh, job. Third time's a charm. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. Isn't it like this small, isn't it? Yeah. Close. <laughs> Is it this one? <laughs> one of these two? It's, uh, it's a little bigger than that. No, that's Turkey. <laughs> yes, you got it. Let's try it for you. That's actually got it. King University here. Fear. Do you know what language they speak in Iran? I'm going to say uh, Iranian. Is it Arabic? Speak Farsi. Oh, I've never heard of that. Wow, I, I thought it was, I want to say Arabic, but um, I'm not exactly sure. Arabian. It's uh, Arabic, Farsi, something like that. Well, since I'm from Belarus, you know, there is a long history of relationship between Russia, Tsarist Russia, and Persia, you know, so. Do you know what language uh, they speak in Iran? Um, Urdu. Would that be one of them? Arab. It's not Arab. They don't, Arab's not the language. Arab is, Arab is uh, um, an, an ethnicity. Arabic's a language. Farsi. Oh my God, thank you for knowing that. I did know that too. What, what do you think the main one is? And Farsi. Good job, you got it. Let's try it again. What language do they speak in Iran? Farsi. Wow, she did that without his help. Farsi. Let's try, say mush. Mush. Bukharet. Bukharet. High five. <laughs> Dastet. Dastet. Dard. Dar. Nakone. Nakone. Let's do it together. Dasket dar nakone. Dasket dar nakone. Very close. That means may your hands not hurt. Huh. Mm -hmm. When we meet each other, you know, you say salam. Yes, yes, I'm familiar with that. Salam. Chak tu sede. Oh my God, why are you. <laughs> what did I do to you? Chak. 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 Tu sede. Tu sede. And then do this when you do it. Chak tu sede. Chak tu sede. Perfect. I mean, this is great. It's going to be cut up and I'm going to look like a, a fool. I will never make you look like a fool. Okay. He might. People also say when they're angry, they say, um, Pedarsag, which is father dog. Wow, that sounds, that sounds harsh. Can we say it together? 
Uh, no. It's just like a really harsh uh, curse word. Oh, okay, that's important. You're like bringing the father into it, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, yeah. Not like the father, but like the, your father. Okay. No karatam. No karatam. Which means I am your servant. Wow, that's very submissive. <laughs> now, pop quiz, what language do they speak in Iran? Far, far, far something. Far something, that's close enough. What are some of your favorite things about Iranian culture? Uh, about Iranian culture, the favorite thing, girls are beautiful. The girls are beautiful. <laughs> um, that's a tea kettle on top of your hat. Correct. I, uh, Iranians love tea. Yes, that's their uh, main staple of uh, liquid, right? Yes, main staple of liquid. Like we're like, don't we don't want water? We just want tea. I used to live in an area in um, Los Angeles that they called Terangelis. You know what my favorite thing I used to get, and there's no. I was about to ask you. <laughs> it's a kashka bottom gin. You like kashka bottom gin? It's eggplant. I would love to have that like right now. Mush pechat. That was a good. Can you do that again? Mush pechat. Mush pechat. Yeah, yeah, mouse. Was that Spanish? <laughs> no, <Yes>. I threw <laughs> that in. <laughs> you didn't even know that. That was. <laughs> now watch me march.